Hello and welcome, my name is Meeplis, they, he, she. And today's pick is Free Inside, the life and work of Peter Collins, with some things written by other people about Peter Collins, published by Ad Astra Comics in 2018. Content notes for nudity, guns, violence, police, torture, needles, death, and lack of healthcare. Content warning for the fact that this is not actually a comic book, but it's close enough that I felt like including it. What kinds of keywords came to mind reading this volume? Prison, reformation, birds, nature, censorship, and life sentence. The summary for this volume is, quote, Free Inside is a portfolio of art and writing by the late Canadian activist and prisoner Peter Collins, who spent 32 years behind bars for killing a police officer during a botched robbery. Collins was the kind of man you'd expect to find in prison, and he still didn't belong there. Among his cartoons, paintings, and articles are heartfelt words from friends, comrades, and those who knew him best. Free Inside is a condemnation of the Canadian prison system and an invaluable perspective on notions of justice, rehabilitation, political activism, and hope. It is an imperfect record of the life and work of a courageous, compassionate man who deserved better from the world. End quote. So, digging into the craft of this volume, as I already mentioned, this is not a comic book per se, but a book of art, some of which is political cartoons. A very precise art form that packs a punch in potent but minimal words or artwork. Something Collins appeared to have been extremely talented at. I was also impressed by the breadth of issues covered, including but not limited to stolen land, policing protest, national politics, prison injustice, Palestinian liberation, oil extraction, sex worker solidarity, and disability justice. On the opposite end of the stylistic spectrum, we had Collins's incredible jailbird series depicting birds juxtapositioned with the prison itself. In contrast to the overtly political cartoons fueled by righteous indignation, these pictures of birds are tender and vulnerable, fueled by his love of nature and real-life experience taking care of injured or orphaned birds. These paintings powerfully reflected back the hope that such creatures can bring to captive humans. A thread that wove throughout was the pressure that Collins felt as a prisoner who was actively engaged with the political struggle against prisons. Not only did this impact his sentence in many ways, he was continuously being told to censor himself so as not to hold the powerful to account. A different sort of beast than most of my reviews, Collins still managed to address most of the identities and intersections that I try to highlight in my reviews, namely class, race, disability, and more. I feel like sexuality got less coverage than most, and gender was perhaps the least examined in total. There's a lot here though, so it's hardly a critique. Wrapping things up, I will read from the short bio in his online gallery, quote, Peter Collins was a lifer at Bath Penitentiary. He lost his battle with cancer after 32 years inside the prison. He was a tireless advocate for reform, both inside and outside of the prison environment, and fought injustice wherever he found it through his artwork and writing, end quote. You can see more of his work at lockdowngalleries.com. And five stars because I found it really interesting. I felt like I learned a lot and took away a bit of inspiration too as far as Collins's artistic practice is concerned. Bye y'all, keep reading, and stand with striking workers. And Literally Graphic is created on land that should be given back to the traditional landholders, which in this case is, to my knowledge, the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, Anamishnabe people, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Huron-Wendat Nation.